Greetings and welcome to Space Haven. I'm Catherine Sky, and I'm really excited to present this game to you. Thank you very much to the developers of the game for allowing me access to this demo during the Kickstarter of the game. Yes, this is on Kickstarter for just a few more hours and it's really, really cool. It's very much like RimWorld uh, and with a touch of oxygen not included and I'll get back to that when we get into the game. So let's start a brand new game. There are two scenarios in the alpha demo. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one. So let's play that right now. All right. So we start off with beautiful music, as you can hear. Uh, and we have four crew members and we have issues. We have no power all over the place. Uh, so we need to figure out how to get that going. So let's look at our crew members first. And we have our... Um, uh, task list, which is very familiar to you if you've played RimWorld or any other uh, games like Oxygen Not Included or others that have this kind of a scheduling system. Firstly, I would like to make everybody able to do every job just in case we have people dying or things are not happening um, because this is the alpha demo and I just don't want them to get stuck. Um, one of the things that we want to make sure of is we have, oh, we have lots of people doing botany. The game prioritizes these skills based on the skill level of the crew member, which is awesome. So we want to get a couple of people. Um, let's have... Umberto and maybe Remy go ahead and do mining and Cameron can therefore do constructing uh, as a first thing. So I think that should be pretty good to start off with. There's also a schedule that tells you what time of the day it is uh, and the blues are the work time. Then we have free time and the yellow squares and then there's a sleep schedule. What's cool about this is that I don't really understand the uh, the T number here, but it does go through the schedule with a little purple line so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we need to start off by building a tools facility because that's going to enable us to make tools um, so that we can construct the rest of the parts of this ship. So we are in a ship. It is square. And um, th this is what the rest of the world looks like in this part of the star system. This is kind of a planet or asteroid field that we're in. Um, we have some mining sites like the... Uh, whoops. Hold on. There we go. There we go. And these contain different minerals. And he, this guy has base metals. And then this one is going to have the noble metals. And then we have one with water uh, things on it, or ice. And then we have this over here, which is a derelict ship, which we're going to explore later. So let's go quickly to our ship go back here we'll get to that a little bit later but i just wanted to give you an overview of where we are and how things are so this ship has no engines no nothing <laughs> but we're gonna get to that um and these are these are two things that are pod vehicles and then we have a um what do you call it a shuttle craft so that we need to power these we need to power these first um well make the tools first because i don't think we can build a power thing without tools so we're going to go to the production thing maybe yes tools under items and we're going to put the tools facility right here so go ahead and unpause this guy so people can bring stuff so we're going to make this a high priority item this is the storage bay and you can look at the manage tab to see what we have in storage and they're going to bring materials from here to there. They do need materials. These basic blocks, uh, where are they? These guys, basic blocks in order to make tools. So it's really handy for them to just walk back and forth. Any of the production facilities really should be nearby the uh, uh, storage. So next thing I want to do, we have two two menus here. We already have seen a little bit about the production menu here of different categories of buildings. This is the overlays, which we will get to in a bit. But right now, the first thing we see is we have no power anywhere. So let's go ahead and build from the production menu power. and We'll build a power node. Now the power node has a really big coverage area. There's also a wall power node, but it's slightly smaller. Uh, so in, just in comparison, this one is like 
two squares larger on each side. Uh, and I want to build this one, say, I don't know, maybe right there. Seems okay. And you'll notice there's a, a green line that goes between these two structures. And what that is, is telling us how far the power line can stretch. So if I put it here, it can stretch to this one, but not the main core. And this is called, by the way, the core, not power generator. It's called a core. Uh, just FYI. I was like, where am I getting power from? I want to build a power plant. There's nothing called a power plant <laughs> in the menu. So anyway, it was kind of a funny thing. But um, there is a tutorial here that tells you what to do next. Uh, we need to build life support and a CO2 hazardous gas scrubber. So that's the next thing that we're going to add to our um, items. So let's just do that. It's under life support here. So let's get, let's see, life support. I want to keep kind of consistent sort of hallways or whatever you want to call them. Go life support, gas scrubber. Um, I guess we'll do that because there's a hallway sort of there. Okay, that'll be fine. And then we'll also build a thermal regulator. That's like a heater or a, uh, or an air conditioning or not. Well, a um, temperature control system. Okay, once we have the power node built, we have to click on links and then click on this green square on the machine you want to link it to. So that way it will actually get power. Okay, so here we are building the gas facilities, which is nice. And soon we're going to need to expand the world. I do want to build uh, some food production. So let's go into the production tab and get food. We we'll want to build a grow bed, which will be here build that there. This is a big grow bed. And then I also want to build a facility kitchen to grow food or to process the food from the grow bed. All right, we need to build lights so our crew can see. Um, it also creates comfort, it says, um, and it makes them feel better. So I want to do that. Furniture, floor lamp. We'll go ahead and put one right behind here. And we're going to build more later, but they do cost materials. And it looks like we have a lot, but that's a little bit deceiving so far uh, because we are going to have to go and make some more uh, materials soonish. So Remy is uh, making this uh, grow bed here. They all want to sit down. So what we need to do is make some beds for them. We have four crew members. So as long as we build four beds, that should be okay. Now, the reason I'm building them in this corner is because of the comfort level. If we look over the red, we can see that the core module makes things very bad. Okay, a shuttle facility tools things. But over here, it gets less and less. So this corner is actually the best for comfort, even though it is not ideal. Uh, we're going to need to build another room for people to be more comfortable. Um, so but that but they need somewhere to sleep for now. So we'll let them build stuff real quick. And, um, but at the moment, there's not much we can do. Even if we add light over here, it's going to be a bit iffy. I want to maybe add a light behind this power thing. Let me just add that because it's a little bit sparse. It's like, oh no, can't see anything. This miner is also unpowered. So I want to build a, um, a, a wall power node. I can build one of these. They are a little bit cheaper than the core power nodes. They have, they don't require the electronic component or green chips as they look like. You can rotate things with G. Okay, if I build this here, that should be okay. Let's just do that. And then we'll be able to link things there. You can fast forward the game with F3, that goes to the maximum speed, and F1 is reg back to regular speed. So you'll often see me kind of doing this as we're going along. And this has no power, apparently. So we need to get another wall power node on this side of things, I think. Let's just go G and just kind of uh, get stuff going there. Okay, nice. Is this already placed? No, it's still building. Is this ready? No, it's not on the power grid. All right, that's fine. What you can set in the kitchen is the types of meals that you can make. I'm going to go ahead and include monster meat just in case we have some, but not human meat because I'm sure that that's going to annoy people a little bit. I don't know, but we'll have to see. There's also artificial meat, which we can grow in the grow bed. Uh, we can choose what we're going to grow, but we should go back to the kitchen and look at what we can get with each of the items. I items. <laughs> items. Mm-hmm. So let's see, root vegetables um, go into a meal that is 
very high carbs, uh, but very little of anything else. Fruits has lots of carbs, lots of vitamins, but no protein or fat. Monster meat is uh, sort of situational. Uh, an artificial meat has high protein and fat and a little bit of carbs and no vitamins. So I've, I've been kind of looking at doing the artificial meat and then fruits. I don't know what the ideal diet is or balance in the game yet, but that seems like an okay balanced diet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and choose what to grow here. So bed one, we're going to grow fruits and we're going to harvest two every time we grow these. Uh, and then with the artificial meat, we only harvest one. So I'm going to plant the next three plots with the uh, meat. And then root vegetables, we harvest two, but I think we can wait on that a bit. All right, so let's let them just go ahead and do stuff and make things... They're complaining about no place to rest. I think because they, they need some couches. But every place that they could rest is kind of in a bad comfort spot. So I don't really want to, um, you know, get them in those, those places where they are feeling very bad. So we're just going to wait on building comfort things. Okay, so Remy is building this thing. Yay. Links. Let's link you here. All right. And another thing that I would like to do is since they're all kind of done constructing, I want to get some people to harvest some resources. So let's get like two water or two ice. And then I want to get all of the base metals and then a few of the noble metals here just for now. And then we can get some more later. Okay, let's zoom back in again and they will go. What they're going to do is these pods are now calling for people to come. They're like, hey, let's go. So Remy and Bert are going out mining and we'll watch the pods as they go. There they go. They drop through. And they are off. This is kind of cool to watch, actually. All right. They're off to get the ice first. And so they go here and pick up the ice. You can just scan one of the pods and it says, you know, what it's doing, how much oxygen is left, stuff like this. They sort of scan, or not scan, but they mine it. Let's go and fast forward a bit on this. Oxygen is getting lower, and they kind of just go to uh, wherever they need to until they fill up the uh, the cargo hold of their ship. And afterward, they will come back to the base and drop stuff off. So we'll wait for them to do their thing. And these guys at the moment are kind of bored. All right, we need to expand our spaceship hull, so let's just pause the game for a moment. Um, well, we don't actually have to pause. We can just say ship hull, and we want to build hull. So first of all, I'd like to build probably the, let's build the crew quarters up here. We want to have a space of three, one, two, three, four. Um six maybe for the crew quarters and then have a walkway here or maybe two walkways and then here okay so this here also indicates this place where a spaceship can dock or a shuttle can dock so here is going to be our sort of recreation room i think let's just build it out to there okay and we will calculate more of that a little bit later but we need those pods to be able to build them. So it probably wasn't the smartest idea to start the mining just now. I really didn't want them to go here as much. I think they've gotten actually everything I wanted them to get. But here, let's go and minus like, I don't know, take five instead. There we go. Go back to our HSS Leo. Okay. And so far, we're still waiting for the pods to come back, I think. Okay, so we're, we're waiting for resources. One monster meat. You know what? Maybe I'll turn off monster meat until we actually need it. Let's just turn that off so it's not upset with us. Um, and in the meantime, we can build... Uh, let's see what else we can do. Facilities, kitchen, jukebox, toilets. Yeah, we're going to need to have a toilet. It's going to look really strange that I'm going to put it in the middle of everything, but here it goes. We kind of need that because otherwise people get a little bit... Um, yeah. They actually go in their pants and it will tell you so. Uh, we also need to expand to include um, an area here, probably for making um, the refinement facilities for the various resources that we're getting. 
So let me go ahead and expand the hull in that direction as well. We need to build a doorway here for an airlock. And then we can build this way. Maybe one, two, three, inside four, maybe. Okay, like that, I think. A bit more there. Forget how big the machines are. So the production, let's just measure the machines real quick. We have ship. Uh, no, not ship. It's under production resources. So energy is, let's see. One, two, three tiles. Chemical is three. This is four. And this is three. Okay, so it needs to be a minimum of seven tiles wide. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, and seven. Okay, perfect. So that we can get our machines in here and hopefully have a little bit of a space for storage in between. That's the goal with that anyway. Okay, here comes one of our mining ships, hopefully to dock, I think, here. There it goes. It's going to come and we're going to bring stuff in through this airlock. So it's going to come and dock, drop stuff off. You can see the little boxes coming in here. And then Cameron is going to take them to our uh, storage. And that's how you drop off materials. So this is a good thing to do. I'm hoping that they're going to stop mining. Are they going to be done? They're going to go, you know, no, they're still mining. Okay, let me just, I'll just go back. Oh, no, leave it there. Leave all the materials there. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how quickly, how agile they are at, no, they're, he's still doing stuff. Anyway, but this pod is now going to go and, uh, and start to build things as, as he can. Okay, so there we go dropping off some stuff and we'll go ahead and do some more mining later after we're done with all of the building projects now it's clearly chatty time over here so they're like oh my god this is horrible this space station is terrible so they're all complaining and just oh but Bert is using the washroom here dumps four of five very nice we haven't watched them do other stuff yet but apparently it recycles the the waste into um pure water to drink which is nice we have 400 tools which is nice um you can also this is one of the things that you can adjust here you can turn that off if you like in the overlays we don't have any vents but we can check our oxygen levels which are pretty good co2 levels which are low which is green that's also good and then we have our um, wall modes uh, which is nice oh i think i'll do this this way instead of having them all down i kind of want uh, only the back ones down. All right, and then we have rooms. We have available jobs to do. And then we have comfort. This is our comfort menu, which we looked at before. And temperature. Temperature is really important. That's what we were doing with the heat uh, thing. Now it's also chatty time. And then we have our power grid, of course. Um, but the heat map is really important. You can adjust the settings here. Uh, right now it's a 22C. And okay, they're, now they're going out and building stuff. Hooray. This is good. Uh, so we'll be able to get their rooms made and everything's settled, which is going to be great. Okay, there's, they're cooking stuff, I hope. Hopefully. Yep, they have an inventory of raw materials so that they can build various things or make various foods. There we go. This is going very nicely indeed. And these guys are just chatting away. All right. Good, good, good. It's looking really nice. It is on, on the fastest time that we have. It's a bit dark here, but like I said, I really want to get some of the refining done because those blocks, the basic blocks go fast. We only have 31 right now. We still need to build uh, all of the machinery needed to refine those blocks. All right. So. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go ahead and slow down the speed. They're going to, hopefully they're going to build this area here. Nice. And so we can start putting in the walls for our, um, 
this area here so these guys can do some stuff. All right. I think we have, I believe there's only, was only one space here. So we're going to build our walls here. We can choose whatever kind of walls we want. These kind of look pretty. These are sort of, um, oopsies. No, we can press G to rotate. We'll go ahead and put this all the way down. I'm going to pause for now because I want to have exact measurements here. One, two, three, four, and then we'll have this. Okay, and then we're going to delete some for doors. So this one I want to delete. Go away. And then maybe this one also to delete. Good. And then I will put in the doors. I'll go ahead and unpause uh, so we can put in our uh, doors here. Hello. Walls. And we can choose whatever kind of doors we want. We have this one. Or that one. I guess this one may match better slightly. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Rotate this one with a G. There we go. Okay. Good. And I think I can put in maybe one light out here. Hopefully that's not too much. All right. So let's let them finish all this stuff while the guys in the pods are still constructing the other area. We'll go ahead and add a power thing over here, wall power node. That might be good enough. I think, Let's see, I guess it'll be good enough. We'll have one here as well. I'm really worried about running out of materials. <laughs> I really am worried. Uh, it's a thing. Is this one done? No, not yet. It's talking about the miner. The miner links. Okay, we're going to link you to here. Oopsies, nope. We're going to link this one here. We're going to click this one and link it there. Actually, we can link it to this one. That's fine. Okay, nice. All right, we have lights. Hey. So then these things uh, can be built as well. We do need to put in that airlock. So let's put in our... Um, it's a spacesuit locker. Because if we look at the production items, for example, this is, and this is the important part, we need to build our metal refinery. That's the most important thing. We can actually build it, which is good. Um, if you look at the description for the thing, it says, um, releases heat and is noisy, enclosed with walls and a heat and a spacesuit door to ensure a safe working environment. So you don't want to get the spacesuit locker. That's a different thing. You need to go into the uh, the wall thing and get a spacesuit door. Now, the reason I made this three wide is because it has these weird things on the side. And I, I don't know if that's like for multiple people to get in or what, but you have to have kind of a wide entrance for this. And then we'll just put walls on either side, but you cannot put a wall here. So that's why I built this a little bit interestingly, as you might've noticed. And the interesting thing about this whole thing is this area, since they are in spacesuits, we are not going to need to supply this with any kind of temperature or um, oxygen or anything because they're going to be in spacesuits. Now here, uh, these doors actually do have vents and they're open by default, which is really nice. However, still, these things take a while to heat up and they may not actually heat up very well. So I think what I want to do is put in a heater and a vent. All right, so let's go and choose that. Crew, life support. We'll get an air vent here. Let's see. Um, let's turn it around like this way, I guess. And then I want to put a wall thermal regulator. Can I put that there? I can put it there though. Okay. So we'll have the heat in this room and then it'll travel to the bedroom. And now it is chatty time again. And soon we shall be able to uh, get things going. Is this, this is still going. This should be high priority actually. But we'll get to that in the next day. So we'll let them go to sleep. And look at our materials here. We have um, only 18 basic blocks left. That's not ideal. We 
We have a little bit of ice and that ice can get melted into water once we build the facility. We do have already some base metals that can be refined, which is great. Those are the ones that we got from the, uh, the world here. Wow, we have more guns. Hello. That's nice. We do? That's, that's interesting. Huh. One and three. Huh. Ah, yes, we haven't equipped our crew members yet. Uh, the other times I started, I only had uh, one of each type of gun. I did not have four total. I had two total. So I'm like, ooh, there's more. So we can equip everyone in that case. We'll probably draft them uh, when we have happy time, friendly time. Minor uncomfort. That's pretty good. All right. They're in their crew quarters here. I'm going to go ahead and draft them huh, and uh, be kind of naughty take away their free time. Okay, so let's click on one person at a time. I'm gonna go into their inventory and uh, they're close by the storage and um, so that we can get stuff. All right, do we, oh, we have three of those. Let's see, so it doesn't actually matter who gets what. We're gonna see their skills with weapons three, gunner one. I'm thinking weapons are probably uh, with the hand weapons, gunner, I don't know if gunner is a space weapon thing or not, but we're going to go ahead and give him the shotgun because that sounds like a good thing. We're going to undraft him now. Click on Remy and we're going to, again, storage, give you a gun. Yay. Looks like we can also grab from other people too if we want to. Undraft, talk to Umberto, go to storage, give you a gun. Yay. All right, go ahead and undraft you and take Bert, bring him over as well so that he can get a weapon. This is nice. That's really good. All right. We're going to, ah, work time again. Okay. So now they're going about their business. Hopefully somebody's going to get in a pod. Ah, yes. Somebody's already building stuff. That's great. All right. No place to rest. Now is this okay? We have stuff now. What I want to do is I want to make blocks. We need 0.2 of this and you make two out of this. Um, I think it's two. Yes. So that's great. Uh, we want to produce if. So if we have less than, say, I don't know, like 15 in storage, then make it. And I think with advanced blocks, we'll do produce if less than, say, 10. And then hull blocks will do produce if less than 10. Because right now we have plenty of hull blocks to be able to uh, build stuff. If we mouse over it here, it says use by pods to expand the ship's hull. A single block builds multiple tiles. So it's not like one per tile, which is awesome. I like that. Uh, we do need to get this thing going, like high priority. Let's go, guys. Let's build this, please. Want that made. Oh, yes. And after they're done building this area, we're going to build that. We're going to go and get the rest of the mining done. Now, the next task for us is to explore the derelict ship, but I don't want to do that yet until we have uh, everything else done. Looks like the grow bed is almost done. Look at this. Well, no, it's 53%. Okay, it just looks, it just looks done, but it's not actually done, apparently. <laughs> ah, but now we have, um, we're going to get some more materials going on. Let's get our construction done. That's quite important. Uh, and then we can, all right, so let's check the temperature over here in these rooms. Wow, 16, that is nice. That's great. Okay, it's better than, than zero, so this is good. So it looks like the vent is working. Everything is happy here. We have oxygen in here, yay. And anything else, no smoke, hazardous gas, nope. Uh, and then we have our vents here. Oh, I guess the door vent counts as well. So that's very nice. Looking very good. So let's go and uh, move the beds. We want to move them. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this. At some point, I hope that we can just um, give them each their own room. I'm sure they'll be happier about this. But at the moment, we're kind of moving them around. Um, and then we'll have our happy room over here with the arcade machine and other stuff. Um, and that other stuff has a potential to be very noisy. So we just want to make sure that everybody's uh, comfortable sleeping without any noise. And uh, 
and so that that will lower their stress level all right so how are we doing are we doing okay okay our pod people are back and i think what i'm i well i'll get that in a minute we still have plenty of ore to make things and i do want to make manufacturing a bit of a priority here let's see let's go ahead and adjust some of these things refining yeah we need somebody to refine stuff how about you but you're a miner too oh no let's take you and you for refining actually we only need one person so we'll go here with um or fabricating as well umberto you can do that actually i'll have you do construction instead of Cameron. We'll have you do most of the refining then. In that case, I think I think that might be better. I don't know. We will see. But they're carrying their box. I just want to have enough for having lamps. We need more lamps. Uh, our blocks are 18. We have 18 blocks, which is not a lot at the moment. Come on. There we go. But we do have the metal refining place going on here. So what are they doing? Come on, guys. Do stuff. Go, go, go. Oh, do we have... Does this... This does have electricity. Yeah. It should be fine. They need stuff in the inventory. So maybe we just need items. Is it chatty time? Nope. It's work time, guys. It's work time. Uh, oh, one of the things that I did forget to mention is to make sure that the spacesuit door is pointed in the direction you want them to use the spacesuit. All right. Um, I'm not sure why they're not working here, but it is uh, should have power unless it's upset that it only has partial power. Let me go ahead and build the other resource makers. So the electronic refining can go here. And then chemical can or well, we need to do energy at some point. So we'll put that here and chemical over here. And then I want to put a storage thing in the middle of this. So like somewhere like this, perhaps. Leave a little bit of room around it to walk. And we'll put a power node in here to make sure that all of the machines have power. I hope this is enough power. I don't know if it, they have to all, the entire square has to be covered with power or not, but we will check. And let's see, items. I think that's good. So I want to build this as a high priority. Get them to go. Okay, there they go. They are building stuff. And then I also need a lamp in here. Go ahead and put this like right here so that it's not horribly dark for these poor people. Okay, they're actually feeding this machine some stuff. There we go. It has It has material now. Okay, we'll go ahead and link this up to the main reactor. Or, actually, we could link it. Can we link it here? Yeah, let's link it there. So I got plans for that last node. Okay, so Cameron is working on stuff. Yay! I'm not sure why he wasn't before, but he will now refine stuff. So we had eight. What is he making? Did he make anything? Does it have stuff in it? No? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, he might have made one of the other things instead. Okay, there we go. Now this is the electronic refinery. So we want to make electronics. I think we'll make these if less than 10 or maybe five for now. I do want to go and uh, mine these other planets. So let's go ahead and mine all of this and all of this and all of this. We'll let our people get on with that as they go along. Just need to make sure. Oh, there's Bert. Hey, Bert, how you doing? What you doing? You okay? Major uncomfort, feeling, yeah. Wow, suicidal, that's rough. Someone thanked me though, that's nice. Feeling hungry. A place to rest. Why, why are you not happy? Occupants, anyone? I'm just gonna put all of them to anyone. I think somebody maybe stole his bed or something. I have no idea. Though I have no clue. Is he looking for something? Hey, guy. How you doing? Skills. 
conditions. As you can see, they all have quite serious... Oh, he's drafted. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Oh, I bet I left him there the whole time. Or something happened. Oh, dear. That was my fault. Poor guy was like, I have to stand here. I am commanded by the god of, of the space universe. <clears throat> or goddess. Whoever that might be. <sighs> That's kind of sad. That's really sad. No. Oh, we're getting more plates. This is great. All right. So we're going to explore the derelict ship later. But I do want to get all of these things built uh, so that we can do stuff. That poor guy. Oh, gee. <laughs> I hope he's going to feel better soon. Oh, the meow is real. Let's see if we can build some more kind of friendly things. Um, let's look at the crew stuff. We need furniture to hopefully get these people happy. Happy, happy. Um, we'll go G. Let's put these guys here. Put table around. And we will also add jukebox here. And a arcade machine. An arcade machine, pardon me. Uh, so that it increases the comfort level. Uh, and hopefully they'll be a little bit happier with that. Anything else? We can add our floor lamp maybe around here and here. Okay. Nice. Insufficient resources. Ooh, we don't have root vegetables or anything like this. Are these done? Oh, they're at 87%. Hmm. Okay, they're a little bit slow. I feel like we should build another uh, veggie garden. Let's build production of food. Yay. Grow bed. Let's rotate it around. Put that right here. Put this on a high priority. We just need two metal plates for this, but we have no metal plates. So we need to get this one going. Come on, guys. We need to make stuff. Okay, we can do a custom priority, but I don't know if priority 1 is high or priority 10 is high. But we will check. Let's see. Okay, maybe priority 10 is high. <laughs> we need to make stuff. Definitely need to make stuff. And then kitchen. I want the kitchen priority to be quite high as well. So... Yep, he's still making things. Okay, there we have two more basic blocks. That's good. Yay. You can hear the slight sounds of the uh, doors as they're opening and closing, which is very nice. I like the pixel art in this game. It is absolutely amazing. It's really, really pretty. Okay, we finished the grow bed. So let's go ahead and grow some stuff. I want to build, maybe do a couple of root vegetables, maybe just two. And then I want to have artificial meat in two, maybe, and then fruits in one of them. So that should be harvestable soon. Well, not soon. These guys are going to be harvested first, obviously. Uh, but we are getting more of the ore into the base, which is awesome. Our right, insufficient resources for that. But we are... Are we building some of this other stuff, guys? Hello? Hello? Building a couch? Thinking about building the couch? Are we chatting? Is that what, what we're at? Yeah, we're at chatty time. Okay, now we're at sleepy time. All right, and with that, I think that this is probably a good time to stop this episode uh, because <laughs> we're we're running out of time. But we have made significant progress, and I hope this is um, interesting enough to at least get you to check out the Kickstarter page. Again, there are a few hours left for this. Um, and it's looking to be an absolutely awesome uh, game. So uh, find the link in the description below. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.